All right, kindergartners. Today we are going to draw a rattlesnake. So to draw our rattlesnake, we're going to turn our paper so it's not sideways. It's going to be up and down like this to start our rattlesnake. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval. It's kind of a squarish oval, so it's not going to be perfect oval, kind of like a hot dog shape. Just like that, and it doesn't touch this side, it doesn't touch this side, it doesn't touch the bottom, it doesn't touch the top. It's kind of right in the middle. So make that hot dog shape on your paper. And then you're going to make another one just like it, touching the bottom of it, just like this. It comes off the bottom, goes around, and touches back up at the top. And you're going to do one more of those, around and back up. So you have three just like that. The next thing you're going to do is draw a line that goes from the top one over on the side here and it's going to angle up. And then you're going to draw it so it curves just a little bit at the top. And you're going to do the same thing but it's going to be just a little over and make it so it curves the same way, just like that. And then we're going to go at the top of this and we're going to make a curved line that comes sideways, kind of like an upside down smiley face or like a rainbow shape, just like that. And we're going to draw a curved line that comes back and it's almost going to touch this line but not quite. So it's going to come back like this and not quite touch, just like that. And then you're going to draw another line that touches the bottom of this and curves all the way over to touch that bottom. Just like that. You can probably figure out where the snake is now, right? You've got his head coming out there. And over here, we're going to draw his tail coming out. So it's going to be um, coming out just like this, kind of like a curved rectangle. But it's not going to connect at the end. And then we're going to use ovals to make that rattle on the end of his tail. So we're going to use hot dog shaped ovals again, just like that. And we're going to make a bunch of them touching each other. And they get smaller and smaller. As you add more and more, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's the rattle. And you can add designs to your snake when we're all done. So you can decide if it's going to have diamond shapes or stripes or spots or what it's going to have. The next thing you're going to do is add just a dot just like that. Just a little circle dot. And that's the nostril, the nose that it breathes out of. And you can draw an eye on your snake. And you can draw a tongue sticking out. And then you have your rattlesnake. The next part I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some patterns on him. But you can choose if you want to add them or if you want to add your own pattern. You can do it however you decide. So for mine, I'm going to make kind of triangle shapes that go down the back of my snake. So you can decide if you want to make these triangle shapes on yours or if you want to stop and do your own design. And I'm going to make them on the top of all of them so it's like the top of his body has triangle shapes on them. Just like this. Triangle shapes. Triangle, 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 triangle shapes. And that one cut off because he's going around the side. We'll do one on the top of his tail and it gets a little smaller at the end of his tail. And then you have a beautiful snake and you can make his habitat around him. Great job, kindergarteners.